Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie'sCrochet.com and I'm here to introduce you to five new flip-flop patterns and um, I went to the dollar store and I saw all these beautiful colored um, flip-flops and I thought immediately of doing a set of um, videos using different yarns um, just to crochet over this um, little plastic strap here. So anyway, um, I'll go through each one and tell you what yarn we used. This one we used Premier's Home Cotton Yarn, and uh, this is a worsted weight yarn. And all we did was work, I think it's single crochet stitches over that. Um, when I take you to a close up for each one, you'll, um, we'll explain exactly what we're using in um, each pattern. So this was um, stitches over the strap and then a separate flower and a button in the middle. And when you sew the button on, you sew it down to the, um, to the strap. So these turned out really cute. I love this color. Um, and we'll also give you the names of the colors and the links and everything will be listed below. So this one we used Premier's Parfait yarn and I love the colors. I love the green and the pinks and then the bright pink flower. So it, this was done exact, uh, similar to the way this one was done. So this one is Premier's Hipster yarn and I came up with this um, idea to make these little like uh, almost like little pebbles on here so I thought that was really cute. And this one is super easy and you use Premier's Mary yarn. And then last but not least is that one over there and that we used um, Red Heart Sachet Mini. And we tried the regular ruffling yarn but it was too thick and the mini is just perfect for that. And then we figured out how to make that little, um, that little flower, that ruffled flower in there by just pulling up a, a bunch of loops. So anyway, um, these are great fun projects for summer and great, um, you know, little uh, gifts to do for your grandkids or your or your daughter or, or whoever and uh, so and they're super super quick and easy um, to make so anyway I'll um, Christina now will show you how to make these and if you're watching one of them make sure that you watch all the other ones too and be sure to subscribe to our channel because it helps us out a lot and thank you very much for watching Hey everybody, it's Christina from Maggie'sCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to decorate this cute little flip-flop uh, using worsted weight cotton yarn and uh, we've got one little button uh, also involved in this project. Uh, these are just little dollar store flip-flops that I picked up. I uh, decided to decorate them a little bit so uh, first I will be putting this uh, crochet treatment around the strap and then I'll show you how to make this cute little flower here. So like I said, this is a worsted weight cotton yarn. And I'm also using a size K crochet hook. So to start, I'm going to start with my straps. Here's my flip-flop. I've got my yarn on my hook with a slip knot. I'm going to start at the heel of the shoe. And I kind of hold it with the yarn over my index finger holding the strap. Uh, with my thumb and middle finger. That's kind of what has been working for me. Um, it's a little difficult to hold until you get used to it, but you'll pick it up pretty quick. So I'm just going to join with a slip stitch. So I'll take my hook, go right under the strap, grab a loop, pull it through. I've got two loops on my hook. I'm going to pull the first one through the second one, and that's joining with a slip stitch. And I'm just going to single crochet all the way in the strap. So I'll take my hook, dive right under the strap, grab a loop, pull it up and then grab a loop and pull it through both of the loops on my hook. And I'll continue doing that all the way around. I think on the other one I got about 36 single crochets per side, so I had 36 here, 36 here. Yours may vary depending on mostly what kind of, what size shoe you have. This is about a ladies seven or eight medium, um, but if you have a larger or smaller shoe then you will need more or fewer stitches. Um, you know, it might also depend on how thick the strap is and a couple of other things. So just kind of play it by ear. The big thing is you want to do enough 
to fill up the strap so you don't see any of the underlying color showing through. So like right now, you know, you can still see the purple strap there. Take a look at this one and how close these stitches are and you have to really spread them apart to see what's underneath there. So that's the kind of coverage we're going for. Um, the great thing about these is you can just kind of scrunch it all together like that every now and then. I'm also taking care to make sure the top of my stitches is facing towards the outside of the foot, um, you know, away from where your foot would actually be, and it just looks a little nicer that way, I think, um, if you, all your stitches are lined up the same way. So I'm going to finish single crocheting all the way around the strap, um, and then I'll come back and show you how to make the flower. So here's our flip-flop without the flower. And you could certainly leave it that way if you wanted something a little plainer. But if you want a little extra uh, decoration there, uh, you could use the same color. I'm using a contrasting color. This is a nice bright blue that goes uh, really well with both my flip-flop and the other yarn I'm using. And we're going to start by chaining two. And then in the second chain from the hook, or the uh, the one near, so the slip knot there, we're going to do eight single crochet. So just take your hook right into that chain, grab a loop, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through both loops. So that's one. we got to get a total of eight in here. You may notice as you are crocheting all these stitches in this one chain, it might try to stretch out a little bit. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. I think that's five, six, seven, and eight. So yeah, my, my chain stitch there stretched out a little bit. I'm just going to grab the starting tail that I left. If you just give that a nice gentle tug, it'll just pull it all right together. And then you can close your circle by uh, joining with a slip stitch to that very first single crochet we did. There we go. Now for the petals, you'll want to do the following. We'll start chaining eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and then slip stitch into the same stitch. Yeah, so that is one petal, and we want to do two petals per stitch around. So we had eight single crochets, we're going to end up with 16 petals. So I want to get another one in that same stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'll slip stitch in the same stitch. So for the next two petals, I'd slip stitch in the next one, and so on all the way around, like I said, so that I've got a total of 16 petals. Then, grab yourself a cute little white button, or whatever color goes with um, your flower. Uh, the white makes a really nice contrast, though it makes all the other colors pop. And just sew that onto your flower and then sew that right uh, over the toe of your flip-flop and it is that easy. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions uh, about this project, please ask them down in the comments below. And in the description for this video, you'll find the written pattern along with the materials I used in this project. Thanks for watching, guys! And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.